Now, Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Jacob Dickey. Well, there's been a little rain shower in Effingham. You can see a couple of raindrops on the lens there. The wind also picking up a little bit in town. It is mild out there for January standards here at midday. Effingham's at 54. That southeast wind's still at 11. But as this round of shower activity lifts to the north and east, those winds are going to pick up here as we move on through. There's that batch, batch of rain there from Springfield to Effingham in the backside to the north and east, lifting on through. We don't get a whole lot out of that, not seeing any lightning in the area, but this is the first round. There'll be a break and we're watching closely what happens in this area here because this next line of showers and storms is on the way and that's where we have the chance for some severe weather with a powerful low pressure system. You can see that comma shape right there. Here's that low and all of that wind energy, all that instability being pulled ahead of that there, which gives us the chance for some strong to severe storms. Temperatures today are going to continue to warm. Our highs are actually going to be after sunset. We'll warm all the way into the evening until those storms arrive and we think we'll get into those low 60s now 63 that forecast high for the day. Look at that southeast wind 10 to 25 gust 30 to 40. That's not including thunderstorm activity here, so it will be warm. I've got 64 Pawnee and Assumption 64 in Greenup will be at 62 in Muhammad 57 in Gilman. Future track doing a great job following these storms and showers as they work their way on through. This first batch will exit. We could get some pockets of moderate to heavy rain, maybe a few rumbles of thunder as early as 1 to 3 o'clock west of I-55. I don't think there'll be much to worry about with that batch there, but as that moves to the north and east, 5 o'clock, now some steady heavy rain north of I-72 there. On the tail end of that is where we'll have to watch this evening for some storms to develop. I think that prime time window is 7 p.m. till midnight. We'll keep an eye as early as 4 p.m. We'll see some storms develop there north of St. Louis between there and Springfield, and they'll carry off to the north and to the east. There may be just enough instability ahead of them to help them strengthen, produce some gusts of wind, maybe a tornado or two in parts of our area. And then as we get closer to midnight, we'll begin pushing that off to the east and out of our area. I think we're done by 2 a.m. here in central Illinois. Here's that outlook. It is only a marginal risk. There was some discussion by the Storm Prediction Center to upgrade part of our area to a slight risk. The next update comes from them at 2 o'clock, so we'll see if they make that decision here. They did, though, pull our severe weather risk as far as the tornado threat is up through the area, and here's why. Of course, a lot of, in, of wind shear in the atmosphere. That's wind energy aloft, strong winds there, but some instability trying to sneak on in here. Is it enough to help push us over the line from a strong thunderstorm to a severe thunderstorm? We may not know that until 2, 3, 4 o'clock. And as we move through the evening, we'll just have to now cast those storms and keep an eye on them. But there may be just enough there, very fine line. But if that happens, then, of course, wind and tornado threat, the, the potential concern here could see some wind gusts 60 to 70. Tornado threat is low. It's not zero. I don't think it's a widespread problem, but we could have a couple get squeaked out here. I do think the severe weather threat, though, is isolated to certain areas. The intensity of storms should be on the lower side, but we'll keep an eye on things. Things may change a bit. Here's one of those changes. The tornado risk now a 3 out of 10 for essentially our entire area. I don't think this number is going to go up anymore. If anything, maybe the wind risk will pick up a bit as the confidence improves, but we'll just watch how things evolve. So 7 p.m. to midnight, that prime time for severe weather. Here's that low pressure system passing on through. We'll clear it out tonight. Dry tomorrow but another system comes on Saturday that may bring some showers, maybe a little bit of wintry mix with that. I don't think it's a big deal. No impacts really expected from that, but some cooler air does settle in as we go to that 70 forecast. You'll see then by Sunday we're down to 31. That cold air short lived though. I've got 48 back by Tuesday. Should have some sunshine from Sunday through Tuesday there with that next system coming into Wednesday. And that's when I think Taylor perhaps the change in the winds will come our way. Maybe some more winter like temperatures in store for us, uh, but that's again just beyond that 70 forecast. Of course, the focus today, the chance for severe weather will keep you updated. I'll have another update on digital platforms somewhere around 1:30. So if you're on Facebook, things like that, maybe tune in and we'll keep you updated. Definitely. You guys are all hands on deck today. That's right. You got uh, Kevin and Kevin will be in and okay. it looks like I'll be in the storm tracker. So okay. we're just going to take today with some caution. Make sure nothing happens, but if it does, we're here. We're ready to go just like usual. Alrighty, thank you so much, Jacob.